Let's do this. Expanding community care for seniors living at home, providing palliative care outside of hospital settings, and improving quality at long-term care homes. These are some of the objectives the Ministry of Health says new funding will accomplish. After a lifetime of hard work and contributing to society, it's essential that we're there for our seniors to make sure that they have um, the, the, the quality of life and the quality of care they so richly deserve. Scott Campbell's mother lives in a Fort St. John care home. He's made multiple complaints about the quality of care she receives and hopes this funding will make an improvement. I don't know how far $700 million goes. I mean, anything that's going to help improve the life for our residents is always welcomed. I hope it just doesn't get you know, dissolved into the generated op general operating budgets of the different health authorities. Advocates say there is also a dire need for access to less expensive at-home care. If a person, uh, a single senior living uh, at home alone, uh, had an income of $29,000 a year and we were going to give them one hour of home support a day, which is not a lot, um, we're going to charge that person $9,000 a year. So this cost prohibitive uh, issue is real. Mackenzie says the cost of home care pushes many seniors to preemptively move into long-term care, a push that new Westminster resident Janet Taylor is experiencing. She's the sole caregiver for her 95-year-old husband who uses a wheelchair. And I don't get a break um, unless I hire a private agency. It, it is a tremendous strain on the family budget. And I'm encouraged to, to send him into care all the time. He doesn't want to go. I don't want him there. Mackenzie hopes the funding will go beyond providing care to seniors and also support caregivers like Janet. But the other part of it is uh, I'm caring for my spouse who has dementia and I can cope with that if somebody can come in so that I can get out of the house for four hours. The funding is part of a deal BC signed in October, where the federal government will provide a total of $1.2 billion to the province for health care over three years. Michelle Gomez, CBC News, Vancouver.